What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day 15 of On Shape. Today, what we're going to be making, as I promised, uh, making some truly 3D model threads. So what we're going to do here is make our bolt, do our helix, and then the path we're using for that helix we're going to cut rather than add like we did the previous video for springs. So I'm going to click on down here and click on Create Part Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and just make the bolt head first. So I'm going to go to click on New Sketch, Front, right click, View Normal 2. And then those other planes I probably will not need. If I need them, I'll make them visible again. And so let's go ahead and make our bolt head. So our bolt head is going to be polygon. It's going to be just a simple hex. And then we're going to go ahead and dimension. When we're dimensioning this bolt head, we want to dimension this side to this side to be one inch. All right, that looks okay so far. We're gonna be done with that sketch. Extrude this out, so Shift E. And then we're gonna bring that to a depth of a half inch. Okay, we got our bolt head. Now let's go ahead and add our bolt. So I just get in the habit of, if I don't need those planes, to go ahead and just make them invisible or non-active. That way they're not getting in the way of accidentally selecting them. So I'm gonna click on sketch, click on the center of my bolt head on that flat face. And then we're gonna click on circle. And this is just going to be our bolt stem. So go ahead and dimension this to be a half inch as well. All right, that looks all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and extrude this out. So extrude. Let's go ahead and make this, you know, let's do uh, 1.5 inches. That looks okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten our bolt so far, but now we have to model the threads onto it. And this is where things get a little tricky and on shape, uh, where it's kind of a, I would say, um, not necessarily intuitive thing to do. We're gonna click on helix like we did for springs, we're gonna click on this bolt right here. And instead of turns, what we're going to do is we're going to do pitch. Now pitch is when that thing, when that helix is spiraling around that cylinder, is what is the distance between one point to the next point of that spin? How far does that distance have to go? And so we're gonna do a helical pitch of, I'll just do one divided by 20. And the reason being is that we, I'm gonna make this a 20th, uh, 20 uh, rotations, threads per inch. Sorry, that's what I was looking for. 20 threads per inch. So we want to put in one over 20 and that gives me that 20 threads per inch. And then we're gonna click check mark and we are almost done. Now the thing I need to do is find out where the end of my helix is at. And then, so I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, find where the end of this is at and highlight it. This is where the end of my helix is. So I'm gonna find which work plane goes through that endpoint. And so I turned on the top and front, and we can see that the top plane is the one that goes through this. And that's exactly the one I need. I need where this point is sitting on that plane, and then I'm going to add the feature of those teeth. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. When I don't need this, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this invisible. And then I'm gonna zoom in, right click, View normal two, and we're gonna draw as a triangle. So I'm gonna hit L for line. Oh, let's hit sketch, sorry. Sketch, I should be on this work plane. Yep, looks good. Hit view normal two, hit L for line, and I'm gonna draw a triangle. Now this triangle uh, size doesn't matter because we're gonna add dimensions. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on all three of these lines, all three sides that make a triangle, and then hit the equal sign. What that does is it forces it to be an equilateral triangle, which is what we want for our, thre for our, our threads. Okay, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit midpoint, and we want the middle of this line to go through 
that point. And what we see is, is that my tooth is going to be going into the stem of my bolt, but it, right now it's just way too big. So we have to fix that dimension. So the dimension we're gonna add here is going to be, we did 1 20th for uh, our tooth. So if I type in one divided by 20, the problem we're gonna run into here is that uh, the we run into limitations of on shape is that it's gonna be doing infinite geometry because one revelation is gonna intersect over the other. So for this dimension right here, one over 20 is 0 0.05. So I'm gonna type in 0 0.049. That way to the human eye, it really doesn't look different, but it helps, uh, f uh, sorry, on shape, figure out where, uh, how to, how deep to cut these in. So we're gonna click green on this check mark and we're looking okay. One thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring our park back up, click on sweep, click on this profile right here, that face. The path is gonna be that helix it's going to take a second to think, but instead of adding it, we're going to remove it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our threaded bolt head, and it's looking pretty good. Now, if you've ever looked at a bolt closely, you notice there's a couple of the features in there to make it a real bolt. We're going to do those later on because that's more of a complex piece. Um, we're going to call this done for this video. We're going to add some chamfers and things later on in a follow-up video to make it the bolt look a little more realistic and some features that are in there to help them actually be used in real life. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. And if you try this out, let me know how it works. If you have any questions, running problems, you know how to reach me. Good luck on this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.